Hey, Jared here from CigarAdvisor.com, and it's time for another edition of Fan Mail. We received a great question from Ray in Leeds, South Dakota. Ray wrote us asking, why is my cigar smoke blue when it's sitting in the ashtray, but gray or white when I blow it out of my mouth? A keen observation, Ray, and the answer is deeply rooted in science. It has to do with the way light interacts with the particles in the smoke before and after they've been introduced to water molecules inside of your mouth. Now, to better explain this phenomenon, we've enlisted the help of William Doney, the director and professor of physics and engineering at Northampton Community College in Bethlehem, PA. How's it going, William? It's going well, Jared. How are you? Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. So what's causing this? Why, why is it blue when it's coming off the ash by itself and then coming out of my mouth, it's white? Well, it really has to do with the way we see things in general. Uh, we either see things as the light, like the sun, or a light bulb, or we see them reflecting light from the sun or a light bulb. Right. So I usually in class talk about why is the sky blue and clouds are white, because it's very similar to what we're seeing here in the cigar. When light, which is coming from the sun, is white, it's made up of all the colors of rainbow, the Roy G. Biv, if you learned that in middle school. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet. And as it hits the particles in the atmosphere, which are really small, they only reflect the really small wavelengths of light, which happen to be the blue and the big indigo violets, the bivs up there in the blue. Right. So we're not seeing the sky because it is light, we're seeing because it reflects the white light. And what it does, it only reflects those wavelengths that are small enough to hit the particles in the atmosphere, which are the blue ones. So we see the sky as bluish. Now we see the sun as a little bit yellow because it's more of a mass subtractive thing because the white light's coming through that blue sky. It actually subtracts the blues out so we end up with more Roy G's which is more of a yellowish. Same thing we see sun, sunrise and sunsets where we see the reddish. Um, so we'll see the sky as blue because it's smaller particles. Now clouds which have water droplets and a lot more uh, bigger particles in them we'll see as white because they don't reflect just part of the wave light spectrum, part of the Roy G. Biv, it reflects all of them, pretty much the total uh, spectrum, which makes it all appear white. And you'll especially see it on top of the clouds where you see them as really bright white and the bottom of the storm clouds appear darker, which usually means there's more water because all the light coming in usually gets reflected back up or to the sides. And so when you have less light, we get shadows or, or dark. So it's that introduction of water molecules from inside your mouth. Yeah, so for this changing the color. Exactly. Right? So okay. for cigars, at the end of the cigar where the ashes, where it's burning, it's really making those really burning them really well. So all the particles coming off are very fine. They burned really well. So it's more like an atmospheric reflection or scattering. So it hits that, they look a little bluish. Now when we inhale that, or one would inhale that and exhale, they, they gather some of the moisture. It actually cools a little bit, and the particles a little bigger because of the water droplets in it, and that reflects just like a cloud and looks more whitish. That is really cool. It actually is really cool. That you can actually really, do you can really do cool. math you can do math with the Roy G. Bib when you take out the colors, you get the others. So the the moisture ones are reflecting all the colors, which is white, and the smaller burn particles are just the bluish. Well, don't let anybody ever tell you that there is no science in this industry because <laughs> there clearly is. Well, William, I want to thank you again so much for taking the time out of your day to come down and explain this to us because I don't think I could have explained it that eloquently. Well, now you know and you can explain it to everybody else. All right. Well, thank you again. This has been, again, Jared from Cigar Advisor with William from Northampton Community College. And thank you. We'll see you next time on another edition of Fan Mail.